Over 48 hours, hundreds of flyers have run into issue after issue at the world's busiest airport. Some stranded for more than 24 hours, if you can believe it. This comes after Delta previously announced it would cut 100 flights a day this summer. 11 Alive's Don White is live for us this evening out at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Don, what have these flyers told you? I mean, you can imagine this is incredibly frustrating. Well, Jennifer, one passenger told me that her Delta flight has been changed or canceled four times. And it's not just Delta. If you take a look at the flight boards at the airport behind me, you will see cancellations for virtually every major airliner. Instead of it being a happy honeymoon, it became a very miserable plane ride waiting uh, for this hellhole to let us finally leave. Disabled U.S. Army veteran Joe Reese said he had no choice but to sleep on the hard floor overnight. Flying back from his honeymoon. Drop your bag in front of TSA, okay? I'm actually uh, a disabled veteran, so I actually had to rely on hearing aids. And so my charging uh, port is actually in my bag in Omaha. This is Carson. She's been such a trooper. Brooke Osborne is also stranded at the airport with her 11-month-old daughter, Carson, and running out of diapers. We've just been giving her more food throughout the day and less bottles since all of her formula is in our checked bag, which is, like Joe said, in Omaha. <laughs> We've been there since, like, 6.30 to 9.30 at night before. Today is Rachel England's 25th birthday. She planned on celebrating by seeing the World Cup in Omaha, but that isn't happening. And so I told Delta, like, this is on you. Like, you guys owe me the reimbursement for the hotel, and I made sure to get flight insurance just in case something like this happened. We reached out to Delta Airlines to get answers for these travelers and received a statement apologizing, saying Delta people continue working hard to deliver the operations customers have come to expect from us. And we are working quickly to resolve travel issues and get customers to their destination. And another passenger says that he was on hold with Delta customer service for almost seven hours. According to the flight tracking website, FlightAware, there are almost 3,200 flight cancellations in the country, and about 120 of them are right here in Atlanta. Don, you certainly hate to hear that. And then these folks are waiting for hours on that helpline as well. It's certainly an incredibly frustrating situation. Thank you so much.